Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to check your check engine light codes on your car, in my case a 2004 Honda Civic. So there's an old way you can do it where basically you can turn the car to the on position and the check engine light will long blink and short blink and it'll tell you. Uh, in my case it's not a problem because I don't have any check engines. Uh, that's for another video. There's videos on YouTube you can do, you know, you can search do it that way. Easier way is to get a OBD2 scanner. So what you want to do is plug it into your car. It's usually in the driver footwell somewhere, so that, that's the location of mine. Then what you want to do is turn it, uh, turn your key to the on position, and then let the scanner do its thing. So push enter to scan, and it'll run its scan. It takes you know about 30 seconds to get through all this, so you just wait. So we go, we're not gonna obviously watch the whole thing, so I'm gonna skip ahead here. So it's gonna read for about 15 seconds. So I'm gonna skip ahead. And then basically it's gonna come up with this screen. DTC, which stands for Diagnostic, Diagnostic Trouble Code, is zero because obviously my car doesn't have any issues. If it did, it would say like one or two there. And then IM is yes, which is the inspection monitors, which is for smog. I'm actually doing another video on that, so stay tuned for that. So basically if your DTC is not zero, then what it'll do is on this menu here, you can hit enter and it'll tell you. So mine's no codes, but it'll tell you which codes. And then you can use Google to figure out what you need. You also want to check your MIL, which is your malfunction indicator light, which is basically the same thing as the check engine light cell. It says off right now on mine because obviously mine is not broken. But if you did have issues with it, then the codes are going to be there as well or different codes. And then again, you can use Google and figure out what exactly those codes mean to figure out how to fix your check engine light. So that's basically all I wanted to show you guys is how to do that. It's a pretty easy process if you have a scanner. I would highly recommend getting a scanner because it just makes it a whole lot easier than easier than trying to do it the old school way where basically you're just, you have to do this process and you have to like short one of your, <clears throat> one of your plugs to do it. So just get the scanner and it's a lot easier. So hope that was helpful. If it was, don't forget to leave a comment in the comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.